What's up everybody, I'm Matt Brody and this is Simply Must Go and we are here at the 2023 Jeep Invasion in Pigeon Forge. I'm here with Sue. You guys wanna say hey? Say hey, whoa, what's going on? All right, we are gonna have an absolute blast. Let me show you around. I wanna do something different this year. I wanna go into the parking lot and check out all the awesome rigs in the parking lot. Then we'll circle back and come into the venues, talk to some vendors, things like that. It's gonna be an absolutely awesome few days here in Pigeon Forge. Oh man, there are some awesome rigs in the parking lot. We're gonna duck a bunch of them. We're also gonna show you some really cool things. This just goes to prove that old Jeeps are way cooler no matter what. So this old YJ here on the surface looks all, it, it looks a little rough. It's still amazing and it's awesome and I love it, but it looks a little rough. But check how many ducks are inside. It's not always the new stuff that's the coolest. These old ones are awesome. That's a cool Jeep. No bones about it. I'm not a smart man, but I know what a Jeep is. This old CJ7 is beautiful. I don't know who you are, but well done. Love it. Check it out, we got some old willies here. This thing's all beefy. Look at that. That's sick. I love it, and then they got Another one right here. So, I like these, those are cool. That's what I love about Invasion, is that it's not just newer Jeeps, like, I mean, you find some stuff here, which is pretty awesome. So this is awesome. This is one of the safari tops from Great Tops, and it looks sick. It looks like one of those old, old Defender tops, but it's awesome. It looks so good on these. This one's seen some mud. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a YJ. We're gonna duck it. It's a live ducking. Here we go. Got it. <laughs> Love it, man. I may be entirely wrong in this, but does that say diabetes? <laughs> That's amazing. We're ducking the cops. <laughs> Hi, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you for all you do. Appreciate it. Have yep. a great day, guys. You too. All right, you know I also love my XJs because, you know, they're part of the Square family. But this old Cherokee here, this thing is awesome. It's just beautiful. But you got to check out some other things here because this stuff, oh, these Jeeps. Man, if I win the lottery, you're going to know it. All right, so this Comanche 
is absolutely gorgeous. Not only does it have the squares and everything, but the front bumper here says Littlefoot, which, you know, dinosaur reference. That's what I've named my trailer from Land Before Time, if you don't get the reference, but that, that's amazing. I know that that's probably not what that's referencing, but I love it for that reason. But this Comanche just so gorgeous. I think it's won the show and shine like three years. It's, it's just beautiful. You see how big this scrambler is? Like it's yeah. taller than I am. It's huge. What's it on? I don't even know. That's, that's a ridiculously huge scrambler. And I love every bit of it. It's amazing. This CJ is gorgeous. I love the scheme, the paint job, the stripes. I love everything about this CJ. So what's absolutely incredible about this one is that is not a wrap or like decals, it's actual paint. I talked to the guy yesterday about it, he, all, he airbrushed the whole thing and it is immaculate, it is so good. I wish you guys could see it in person because I know the video is not going to do it justice but this, like that's really impressive. Alright, so you may notice that there's an empty spot here. I, this, is, this is our missing man formation. Because this year, Aaron with Half Clean Jeep was not able to be at Pigeon Forge with us. So we're saving his spot. So Aaron, I know you're going to watch this. Aaron, we miss you. We can't wait to see you next year. You are missed, man. But we got your spot for you. What's up, Carver? All right, so I ran into Dee and Carver. And Dee and Carver have a channel called Carving Up the Trails. We just finished an epic five-day adventure across the Georgia Traverse. So they're here with us, we're hanging out. Carver, tell them what to do. Like, subscribe, and do all that YouTube stuff. <laughs> Hey, I'm Kaylee with Midland Radio. We're here at the Midland booth showing off some of our new Jeep products that just launched here at the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. We have our Jeep Walkie Talkies, our T77 VP5J. Now this comes with two Jeep branded walkie talkies with the green Jeep color branding and also some of our favorite accessories in a soft shell carrying case that also features the Jeep logo. We also launch our MXT 275J Micromobile two-way radio, and that's our 15-watt Micromobile GMRS radio with the Jeep branding right here on the mic. Now everything's fully integrated on this control microphone, so you can hide the radio base unit away under your front seat, under your passenger seat, in your center console, or sometimes even in your glove box, and it really saves that extra dash room space because you have everything here on the mic. We also have our 50 watt version, the MXT 575J Micromobile, and that's 50 watts of power. That's the most power allowed by law. And all of these radios are compatible with one another. They're GMRS two-way radios, and we have FRS right here, so they're great to have the Micromobile in your vehicle, and you can grab the walkie-talkies and grab, go outside of your vehicle for any spotting or recovery, or if you're backing any trailers or anything easier. So they're really easy to communicate, clear, clear reception, clear transmission, we're also selling some of our new antennas that we have here, our Ride the Range line, so we have our bull bar options. We also have our standard, our favorite, our ghost antenna, and our 6 dB whip antenna. All right, so I am in the Bark Tact booth, which is awesome. It's all kinds of accessories for your dog, uh, dog gear for your dog that rides in the Jeep or in other, any other vehicle, really. But they've got everything from things like these goggles to keep them safe if they get the, they're a captain and they stick their head out the window all the time, so dust and bugs and stuff don't get in their eyes. They've got all kinds of harnesses for keeping them in the Jeeps or any other vehicle. A bunch of other accessories, vests, all kinds of good stuff 
lots of things I'm really impressed with here. So check them out online, it's barktac.com. Hey, I'm Paul with Jeep Cables here at Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. Uh, came out from Washington State for the show. Uh, we brought our uh, JK and JL, JT uh, alternators and battery cable sets. Um, basically what we're doing is, is we're bringing your Jeep back to better than factory. Uh, older Jeeps, CJs, YJs, uh, really benefit. Um, that's how we started was for my XJ, I needed a set and I couldn't find anything that would really work. So built my own set. We're using all American components in our kits, so we're using a high-grade automotive, uh, uh, Society of Automotive Engineers approved wire, that's a mouthful. Um, but it's designed to be in the engine compartment, it's crimped um, for a, a completely solid connection. We're the only company that's labeling the ends the way we do, so it makes for a really easy install and really uh, a really trouble-free installation and, and really huge improvements when you're finished. Well, if you're running a winch or a stereo, um, a lot of the Jeeps here we saw with these big stereos, at idle you're not getting that, that alternator to put enough power back to the battery for those lights. So what we're doing is, is we're just making sure that when you need that power, whether you're winching, whether you got a stereo, whether you got lights, that you're getting all the power you need for those when you need it. Power inverters, overlanding, all of that stuff draws a, a ton of power and we want to make sure that all of that stuff works as best it can. All right, so they also have, look at that, a little Jurassic Park Jeep Cables sticker, which if that's not a sign that I need a set of these in Sioux, I don't know what is. So we're here in the Terraflex booth at uh, Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. This place is insane. So we got uh, on display here, anywhere from tire carriers to our, our wheels, our new bead lock, we got uh, the topless for Tata's Jeep over there that we built for them that's on Terra 60s, the long arm, Falcon shocks, uh, the whole nine yard, that thing's built, that's fun. We finally came out with a beadlock wheel. So there's a couple of features on this thing I really like. Number one, we kept our, our bleed offs in them so you've got your, what we've had in the Nomad wheels all the time so you can just crack that valve. Preset it, pressure drops down to where you want it, shut it off, away you go. The other one's just a fill valve, so you can fill them back up. Uh, fill, wheel comes in a, uh, it's an Olympus speed lock, it comes in a black or a machine. But what's really cool is where the rings have these holes cut in them, so it lets the water run out of your wheel. So you go to the car wash, you're not sitting there splashing water out of your wheel. Anybody who's had bead locks knows what I'm talking about. So good solid bead lock, 50, or, uh, 17 inch, nine wide, uh, bolt patterns for uh, JK, JL, so the five on five stuff as well as an eight lug. So fun stuff. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Justin with Factor 55 and Warren Industries. And uh, we're super stoked to be out here at Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion again. So I wanted to show you some new things that we have coming. Uh, kind of thing that we just dropped, we just got a brand new website that we launched. Uh, and one of the cool things that we just put on that website is, you know, some of you may be familiar with our fully USA made recovery kits. Uh, every single recovery kit that we offer, we offer them from side by sides all the way up to big military vehicles. And every single component, including the bag itself and those recovery kits is American sourced and American made. So we used to have the bags being built in Colorado, but now the bags are being made right in Boise, Idaho, where we're from. And so we now have released them in this rad, like desert tan color. So one of the things that we experienced was that with some of the OD green, all the dust and dirt, especially being out in Moab, gets on there and it's really hard to like keep them clean anyway and keep them looking green. So we turned it into this nice desert tan finish. The cool thing is with some of these upgrades, we also added a lot of this molly on the outside so you can attach other things. Like if you got your kinetic rope, right? You can take your rope and attach it to the top of the bag to keep that in there, or any other pouches that you want to have on this side. And then we also gave you a Velcro panel to put patches on one side of this too, and some more Molly features there. Now, the other neat thing too is just like you've seen before, the kit lays completely open, so you don't have to fight to get to the bottom of the bag. You got access to your straps to keep everything clean. You still got the pockets, the big pockets to keep your pulleys and all your hard shackles organized and inside of here. And then there's even some additional 
little molly on the inside to also keep other things strapped to the interior of the bag on both sides. So there's additional pockets, perfect fitment for your hitch link in the back end, also your fast fit right there. Makes it easy, lightweight, take it up the trail. You can even use the bag as a winch damper if you need to. And our favorite thing about this is that the bag itself nests rectangularly, neatly, and so it stows with all the rest of your gear. And then you know you got the most reliable, tested, rated, USA made recovery gear on the planet right here with Factor 55. So, hello, this is Dario with Overland Ads from Miami. The other guys are here and we drive from Miami and we meet you, Matt. We love your channel. It's one of the best and we enjoy seeing you again year after year. We are on Instagram, uh, Overland Ads. We are a group of friends, like family more that we go camping with the kids. All right, it was fun checking out the vendors inside. It was nice because it was air conditioning. Now, now we've got to brave the elements and go out into the sun and the heat, it is warm outside. We're going to check out the vendors in the upper section and uh, I think that's where all the real fun's going to be. Hey, I'm Daniel with Outland Motor Work, and we are showing off our new Caddy Wampus redesign. We've had the Caddy Wampus out since we've been in business, but we had a lot of people ask for different uh, options, so we gave it to them. So the first thing we did is we made it wider. So it's a full-size bed, 55 inches wide by 83 long. Gave you a three-inch mattress. Uh, includes LED lighting, some pockets. We even gave you a clear pocket so you can put in your tablet and watch videos while you're camping. The other thing that we did is we made, gave you an awning on the side of the entrance. We're in East Tennessee, it rains a lot. We're in a national forest and it's raining all the time. If you have your ladder on the side and on some of the previous models, you're getting wet. This way you stay in dry when you get out of the tent. So it's also a hard shell aluminum tent. It's all extruded aluminum except for the top. Gives you a piece of uh, one inch insulation in the top. We also put a gel coat over in the top, similar to a bed liner, that way it makes sure it's, it's watertight. With the extruded aluminum, we can give you a, a roof rack or crossbars so you can mount your traction board, solar panel, surfboard, kayaks, so you can add more to your adventure as you're going out, not just camping. So for our 270 awnings, which we're releasing this year, we call them our wraparound porches because they wrap around your vehicle. So instead of, like most others, is made out of a single tube extruded aluminum, we made it an A-frame, just like your house is, to make it a lot more sturdier, uh, out of uh, aluminum tubing to make it stronger so it doesn't blow away in the wind. But if the weather does get nasty, we include the poles and some tie-down straps so it won't go anywhere. All right, you can find us at outlandmotorworks.com. And of course, on all the social media, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, just give us a shout. We'll be happy to see how we can help you. Hey everybody, this is Joe from Tiny Camper Company here in Claremont, Florida. We're at the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. We're about to announce our brand new 5x10 Apache by Tiny Camper Company. Let's check it out. So the 5x10 uh, Apache is one of our newest models. It's about eight feet inside. It's got front cubby space and more sleeping space towards the back. We designed this camper based upon a eight foot uh, trailer base with a 45 degree in the back for uh, true off-roading inclines. It's got a one ton axle by Timberin, single pulley system, so you can recover from front to back. Uh, two inch square tube steel. This thing is built uh, for everything that everybody's ever wanted in a off-road trailer. So the back galley, we wanted a little bit more space. You got about 24 inches in depth. It's got a little spice cubby towards the back and it's got a flip up system instead of our typical back galleys, which, uh, which open from right to left. So this camper's got a 270 awning on it by OVS. Uh, great design. Um, if you don't know anything about OVS, uh, it's got a steel hinge, which is powder coated, uh, which one inch by three inch aluminum rails. So one of the very most important things is weight distribution. 
we had to build this to add a little bit more tongue weight towards the front. So we built a front custom box with a carrier luggage rack, which you see on an ATV for more tongue weight. But uh, plenty of storage inside for a um, maybe an 18 to 25 quart uh, cooler system, uh, including any electrical coolers or anything you may need. Um, and if you look at the very front of the tongue, it's got a short base so you can put your lock and roll or any uh, off-roading articulating hitch. You can check us out at www.tinycampercompany.com. I'm Chelsea, I'm with Easy Flight. We're based out of Eagle Mountain, Utah, and we specialize in air systems. Everything you need to air up, down, and equalize your tires when you're coming on and off-road. We do multi-tire hose kits, like this one right here, so you hook up all four tires into the hose kit, and you can air down just using the center manifold. So you can air down and it'll equalize all of the tires. And then when you're done, you can hook up into one of our compressors right and then air up. So it's really fast. I run 40s on my rig and I'm able to air down using a four tire hose kit from 26 PSI to six PSI in six minutes. And then using one of our 10.6 dual cylinder compressors, I can air back up in eight minutes. You can find us at easyflate.com or at easyflate on Instagram, Facebook, call that jazz. Hey guys, how's it going? Cole here with Tyree Lights. As you can tell from Matt's uh, setup that he's got, we make some bright lights. Not only do we make some bright lights, we make the toughest, most durable lights on the planet. Um, our evolution is a little different than everybody else. We come from the heavy machinery side of life. We are an only supplier for big names such as Caterpillar, Komatsu, stuff like that. We're in the logging and the mining industry very heavily. So these lights are all spec for that. That's what They look tough because they are tough. Right here we got a 1313 for an example. We get down to you know vibration isolation, we salt spray test them, IP69K rate them, we even get down to the electrical noise. So these things are electrically silent. Um, the engineering in these things is just unlike anything else. Um, something new we've been coming out with uh, for the off-road market is we got this awesome V12 light bar. Uh, this is around 4500 lumen as well, but it's a great spot pattern. It's, it's way more useful than a lot of the 10 inch bars out in the market. And like I said before, our engineering is like nobody else. This light is no exception just because it's for the off-road. We still have all the spec for it for the mining, the logging, all the heavy industry stuff. Another cool thing we just came out for all the Jeepers out there is we got a new drop-in fog light kit. Now this fog light kit works for the JL bumpers, it works for the steel bumpers, it works for the JK bumpers as well. Um, what this lens does is it's an asymmetric lens, we call it. So it's not shining so far up, so you can get that high-powered light down low and not blind people so you're not getting flashed all the time. We're looking forward to more development, talking to you guys, hearing some feedback, what you guys need from us, what you guys want from us, and of course we're looking forward to working with Matt even more. So happy he's out here and happy you guys are out Smoky Mountain. Uh, we're JS Alternators. We build high performance alternators for many needs, uh, but especially for off roading and car audio. Uh, you run in rock lights, light bars, winches, speakers, sound bars, all that good stuff. We got the power that you need. Um, we offer different amperages depending on you know what your draw is um, and what all you're running. Um, we can also do uh, OEM pulleys uh, for you know off roading, so everything performs correctly, but. You know, you're, you're out there, you're helping people, you're winching them out, you know, you're losing power to your lights. That keeps up with that draw and you don't have that, that loss of power. Um, that, that's needed when you're in those types of situations. Check us out at jsalternators.com. Hey, this is Matt with Great Tops. I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about the new Overlander top that we came out with. Um, it's kind of a conversion that we've done using the core of a factory um, JKU hardtop. So 07 to 2018, um, JK Unlimited. Um, we've kind of done a totally different use for how the factory hardtop can be used. We start by taking a factory hardtop and cutting it in the seam um, that goes around where your normal back factory window is at. We sell you this panel that then gets bonded in from the back side of a factory um, using the, the lip that's on the back side, we bond that in with a two-part epoxy. Um, so then you have a couple options for the window where you can do a slider window. We can leave it as a panel van, no windows at all. But the other half of the piece is a fiberglass bolt-in rear door. And this fiberglass door bolts into the same locations where the factory hinges were at. 
Um, so that bolts into place. We've done a cutout for like uh, an access door. If you're running solar panels, battery, any kind of connection, water connections, you can run those through there. You can still use your freedom panels, but then we get to the piece we just released, which is the overlander door. Uh, we will take, you take the tailgate and remove it, take the bolts for the tailgate off. You take your hardtop glass off and this bolts into place of both of those. So you get a teardrop camper style door. Gives you full access. The problem with using the factory hardtop and if you're sleeping in there overlanding is there's no way to get out. There's no egress. So with this style of door, you're able to actually open it, get back out. Um, the window does have ventilation. So you, now you've got ventilation screens on, on both sides. The nice cool thing is you can also have, still then have full access into the Jeep um, by sleep, you know, if you've got a kitchen or any kind of platform storage, anything, um, you can still have full access into those. And then the nice thing about all of this is we're not modifying the Jeep itself. We're not drilling in, we're not doing any body work um, onto the Jeep itself. You can still revert back to your factory rear doors um, to a soft top, or if you have a second hard top, you can still go back to a factory style using your rear seat. Real convenient way to set up a camper that has the same profile footprint as a factory Jeep. You can still go through car washes, you can fit through uh, parking garages, um, and you're not, you know, barring uh, $20,000, $30,000 to do the conversion. The website is uh, Great Tops. It's GR, the number eight, T O P S, greattops.com. Hey everybody, I'm Jackson Green, president of Off-Road Concepts, and I want to show you our brand new, launched two days ago at the beginning of this show, bolt-on stubby front bumper for JL, JK, and JT. It gives you that really stubby look, almost looks like a frame chop, really tucked, really slim, great approach angles on it, full skid plate going all the way to the back, but looks like a frame chop, it isn't. This utilizes all the factory hardware, don't gotta trim nothing, don't gotta cut nothing, bolts right up. These are actually mounted directly to the frame on three ace steel backing plates. The rest of the whole bumper is all three, uh, three sixteenths uh, cold rolled plate steel. Uh, so this bumper is extremely strong. It comes with winch gussets in there to support a winch. So unlike the factory winch ready bumper, drop it right in, you're ready to go. We got these beautiful honeycomb inserts on the side that you can see here. Now these are very stylish, but they also act as uh, guards for lights. You can throw some fog lights back here. They'll give a nice wide pattern. If you got some spotlights or some more powerful lights, you can bolt them right to the side of the frame. And uh, we got a circular cutout in here. It gives you a nice wide pattern. So we got both options for that. We do offer uh, standard colors. So these standard are red, just like the Rubicon. Uh, you can get it in either our beautiful uh, satin pearlescent black, which you see here shining in the sun, or you can get a uh, satin metallic like gunmetal gray. That's also really nice, and uh, those are both options. You can also get it bare metal, um, and uh, yeah, you can also get custom colors. Like let's say you've got a 392, and you want to match that uh, Rubicon 392 gold. These can come painted in gold. You got a 4x8. You want that electric blue? We can do that too. You want to match to the paint? We can do that. So we have a lot of different customization options. You can get it with a bull bar. You can get it with holes for lights. You can get it with a stinger. So. Uh, yeah, it even works with the big old Xeon winch. We got spacer plates to fit that big Xeon that you got, maybe on your factory Rubicon bumper. So uh, yeah, that's that's the uh, that's our brand new bolt-on bumper for JK, JL, and JT. All right, guys, and uh, this is our other product, our uh, our pride and joy. This is our race spec or R spec bumper uh, for JL, JK, and uh, Gladiator. And uh, this bumper is the highest clearance bumper on the market. Um, it's basically, it, this is really is for the extreme rock crawler. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and on a JK and a jail, you're gonna cut those frame caps off all the way back at the grill and uh, drill some holes. The whole entire thing is again made of 3 uh, cold rolled plate steel. It's got quarter inch gussets on the inside, on the outside. This thing's basically nuclear bomb proof. And uh, we have it with a stinger, no stinger. We also have a bull bar option. Um, all the tow hooks are weld through on the inside, so super, super, super strong. You can hang this thing from a crane with this bumper. 
Um, we've seen this thing, bounty hills. I mean, like rock bouncer bounty hills, smack you know the thing at whatever miles an hour on a, on a buggy JL, and uh, just this curvature here, just go right on up. Um, we really are proud of this one. Uh, a lot of a lot of rigs are really liking this because of the capability that it offers. We also uh, got some help from Rock Jock. This is fully compatible with the uh, Rock Jock Any Rock sway bar. It's got the holes to mount it up. Uh, super easy install. And we also have these access grills that not only act as vents. If let's say you got a 392 or you got a, a LS swap or something, and you got that big V8, that big radiator. Um, no other frame shops on the market have vents down here, so you can run into overheating problems. These vents let you get all that cold air right to that big radiator that drops below the grill. So we got the, uh, the added benefit of the cooling. And then also the other really good news is we got this skid plate running all the way to the back. Protects your cross member, protects your radiator, your core support, uh, your brake lines, all that stuff. These plates actually install afterwards with C-clips. So what you do is you slide it on there, you drill your holes through the frame, and then you just stick a wrench through this hole, bang the bolt in, put the plate in, and you're done. This whole entire frame shop, even with an any rock, if you got the right tools, you can probably install in less than an hour and a half to an hour. And uh, yeah, these are our two big products. We got loads of more stuff coming out, rock sliders, fenders, rear bumpers, rocker guards, corner guards, um, and a TJYG bumper next month. So we got loads of cool stuff. Thank you again, and uh, yeah, bye guys. How's it going guys? My name's Chris. I'm part of the sales department at Metal Cloak. Uh, behind me we've got our JL, or one of our JLs I should say, with our full three and a half inch game changer kit with our Rock Sport shocks. It's got a couple other goodies on body armor, front and rear bumpers with uh, some color match fenders that we got, but one of the big things that separates us from the rest is our technology and our bushings and the amount of articulation you can get out of our system while keeping that on-road drivability. That's such a big thing for us because we're Jeepers. We get in our Jeeps every single morning, drive them to work, drop the kids off at school, go play, and want to drive it back home and be comfortable. I think a lot of people can uh, tell the same story. They've been in a couple Jeeps before and it's crazy on the road. You, you're white knuckling it. You're not sure if you're gonna get home. And um, with our system, you can go 80 miles an hour down the freeway, cruise control, and relax be able to drive it on the road and outperform almost anything else on the market is what separates us from the rest. You can find us, uh, you can call the shop anytime, Monday through Friday, 916-631-8071. You can find us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, it's always at Metal Cloak. We've actually got a really cool um, Facebook page for all the owners. Uh, we've got a Metal Cloak Owners Club page on Facebook. So if you've got any of our parts, you've got questions, or you just want to be part of this family, a little bit more on social media, join that page there. We'll get you all set up, and it's a great community. All right, I can't believe I haven't shared this with you yet, but this, this is Mini Sue. This is my 110 scale Jurassic Park replica RC that we built out of the Mashigan. It matches Sue. You can see I got the fog lights, the bumperettes, the light bar up top. A lot of that was custom made by a buddy of mine who does 3D printing and stuff, so I can't thank him enough for helping me get this done before Jeep Invasion. But having Mini Sue here has been an absolute blast, something to do and play with. People have loved looking at it and seeing it and watching it drive over the rocks and all that kind of stuff. I absolutely love the fact that I now have 
a 110 scale mini version of Sue to come to shows with and play around with. She's actually gotten a bunch of ducks on her own, which I think is hilarious. So that's awesome. I'm super excited to have this here and to bring it to all the other shows. So if you ever come to a show and you see us, you'll get to see Mini Sue too. It's been an awesome day, a lot of fun. Met a lot of you, and I'm really excited about that. Thank you so much for stopping me and saying, hey, we're gonna pack up a little bit and we're gonna head over to Quaker Steak and Lube for sort of an after party. It's gonna be an awesome time. We're actually gonna grill out, do a little overlanding in the parking lot. I love it. Anyway, we're so excited about that. It's that beautiful YJ again. So nice. All right, we made it to Quaker Steak and Lube. I always get this wrong, Quaker Steak and Lube. Anyway, we're gonna have a blast. We're gonna check out a lot of the Jeeps in the parking lot here. And then later when it gets dark and everyone turns on their lights and stuff, it's going to get crazy. We'll show you that too, but we're going to have a good time hanging out with everybody and we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for Jeep Invasion 2023. We had an absolute blast being here. Sue got so many ducks again this year. We're gonna play a little game. Uh, if you can guess how many ducks we got in the comments down below, first one to win, first one to guess the right number, I'm gonna send you some free swag. So uh, leave those comments down below, guess how many ducks you think we got. We'll count them up, we'll figure that out. Anyway, I got to meet so many of you while we were here. It was awesome. Thank you so much for stopping me and saying hey. 
We're gonna get everything packed up and uh, go hit Quaker Steak one last time. That's gonna do it, guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out. All right, so we are driving back to our cabin after Quaker Steak, and I wanna show you the difference these Tyree lights with these ORC mounts make. So this is my normal headlights, and then these are the brights, right? Now watch what happens when I turn on my Tyree lights. It's such a huge difference. Like you can't even really tell that my brights are on anymore. So again, these are my, my Tyree off-road lights. These are my regular headlights. Those are my brights. It's just such a huge difference. I can't, I can't, I can't stress enough how awesome these lights are.